Welcome back to the Cudlow Report. I'm Seema Modi at the Cudlow Tweet Desk. Of course, the big topic of a discussion on Twitter. What would you ask our candidates tonight? We have a couple of specific viewers tweeting us. Jeff Goldstein tweeting, what are the Obama administration's top economic growth initiatives and how much dough will it cost the American taxpayer? And also, we have a celebrity tweeting you, Larry, Lady Gaga. This is the time we should all be using to debate each other and inform ourselves, no matter what our differences, this is an important election. So a lot of celebrities out there using this time to tweet how important and how high the stakes are around this election. Well, Seema, I love the Lady Gaga. I think that's great. I think she's right. This is an important time, and maybe she'll come on our show sometime time and debate me. I'd love to have it. Seema Modi, thanks very much. Now, could a third party candidate play spoiler this November? Today's Rasmussen poll shows Romney leading Obama 49-47 nationally, but there's a 2% uh, 2 margin that says they support some other candidate. Now, that other candidate could be former New Mexico governor and the Libertarian Party's presidential nominee, Gary Johnson, or not. He believes he should be on the debate stage tonight. He's probably right. Gary Johnson, Governor Johnson, first of all, you're ahead of 2%. You're saying other polls have you higher. Let's just get the facts out. Yeah, yeah. No, the, where my name is included, uh, as high as 6%. So that's when my name is included. Which poll not, would that be? Well, PPP, for example. A lot, a lot of polls are out. Uh, recent poll in Ohio has me at 11 percent that really? may be an it, aberration in the state of ohio in the state of ohio wow. yeah yeah all right so you're up now the question tell me if i got this right the elders of the debate rules say you have to have 15 percent in the national polls and therefore you don't qualify is that their argument and if it is what do you think of it? no they're really not presenting an argument uh, the presidential debate commission made up of republicans and democrats they have no desire whatsoever to see a third party on stage and if i were on stage uh, you know i'd be talking about uh, I'd be talking about balancing the federal budget now uh, I would be talking about uh, eliminating corporate tax uh, income tax abolishing the IRS if that doesn't give us pro growth I don't know what will zero zero corporate tax tens of millions of jobs get created in a zero corporate tax rate environment well not surprisingly I have to agree with you we should not be taxing capital the way we tax capital but I just want to come back to the other issue I mean personally I'd like to see you up on the stage I think you didn't like in the debate. But years ago, Ross Perot, twice, if I'm not mistaken, in 92 and 96, was on the stage. Why'd they let Perot on the stage and keeping you off the stage? You know, I think uh, they, the Presidential Debate Commission was established after Perot uh -huh. to actually prevent a Perot from ever being on stage again. So big, big differences between my, you know, they're, the two of them, uh, uh, last debate, they're debating on who's going to spend more money on Medicare. We have to slash Medicare spending. Medicare is a benefit that you and I are paying $30 into and getting a $100 benefit by extension we're paying in 30 grand and getting a 100 grand benefit look that's unsustainable so is uh, military spending so is Medicaid What's these your... are the issues that need to be taken okay on. Mitt Romney purports to be the free enterprise free market candidate what's your biggest disagreement with Governor Romney well that he says that uh, balancing the budget is important but we should increase the spending for the military and we should hold Medicare intact Larry um, I finished the second grade and there was a mathematics equivalence that went along with that. What would you do to Medicare? Just briefly, what would you do to Medicare? You'd slash Medicare spending. I would devolve uh, Medicare spending and Medicaid spending to the states, 43% right. less than what we're currently spending. As governor of New Mexico, I oversaw the reform of Medicaid in New Mexico. I believe at that time, in my heart of hearts, if the federal government would have block granted the state of New Mexico 43% less money, done away with all the strings and the mandates that I could have effectively overseen the delivery of health care to the poor. You, Same thing for Medicare. Would you link the dollar to gold? If given the opportunity, I would sign legislation that would create competing currency. As you know, very complex topic, but you would leave that to a competing currency formula. Reagan established that commission, of course, and it was made up of Greenspan. Actually, right, it's, in the, it's in the party platform. We may see another gold commission. I'd like to see it. Anyway, Governor Gary Johnson, Larry, thank you thank very much. Thank you very much for I'm having me. sorry you. they're keeping you off the stage, truly. I think thank you're you. livening it up. Anyway, up next, what makes the mainstream media think that Romney is going to do any better tonight? Tonight than he did last time, or Obama's gonna do any better tonight. That's what I really meant. Anyway, doesn't hope and change Trump poor experience, or is the mainstream media rooting for Obama? In other words, who says he's gonna have this great comeback? I don't see what the evidence is. And on the other side of the break, we're gonna find out how hard he's been training for this.